It's that time of the year again. It's Christmas. At least it's almost Christmas. It will be in a few days. But hey, what's the harm in starting a little bit sooner, right? I see absolutely no harm at all. So how are we going to celebrate Christmas this year? Well, I got a super Christmassy mod for you right here that's going to really put us right in the mood. It's called, uh, uh, Bloody Christmas. Well, I'm sure it's actually really wholesome on the inside. <laughs> and we also got a competition going at the moment. The Lambda Generation Valve Mus 2023 Arts Competition. In this competition, you can let your creative juices flow and create a swell-looking piece of Valve crossover art with a Christmas theme. The winner of this competition will get a $20 Steam gift card, while the second and third place will both get a $10 Steam gift card. So you better start creating if you want to win that. And I mean it, because the competition will close in one day from now, so yeah, better get to it. Anyway, enough intro stuff, let's dive into Bloody Christmas, shall we? Bloody Christmas is a mod for the original Half-Life, mainly created by Neophus. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. It was released about a year ago, actually, but I didn't catch it back then, apparently. The mod has received a few updates, though, since its release last year, and one of those updates happened a few days ago. So I guess it's kind of fresh again now? Well, more like reheated. The mod starts off rather abruptly by throwing you into the lobby of Antec Laboratories. You know, Gordon's beloved and totally canon place of work. And he's about to attend a Christmas party with his colleagues. Although they seem a bit stressed out about it. I can't be bothered right now. The lobby and eating room are neatly decked out with Christmas decorations. Trees, lights, presents, and cookies and candy everywhere. Oh, hot dog! They even brought out the extra round mugs. Oh, they really went all out, huh? But of course, we cannot start the Christmas celebrations looking like what, well, what Gordon normally looks like, so we need some Christmassy clothing to really fit the bill. Oh yeah, a HEV suit will do the trick just fine. Christmas could use a little bit more orange, after all. But, as if the ModDB page is a prophetic bit of text, something strange happens. We find Barney dying in a closet. Oh no! What on earth could have caused him to die like this? Oh, look at all this blood. And look at the gun and ammunition that he dropped and this crowbar. We better keep his gear safe and tell the others. Is that... Is that Christmas music playing? Well, okay, that's a little bit inappropriate at this moment. Oh! Yes, you're seeing this right. The military decided to casually invade Antec during the Christmas period. Because when really is the right time for an army to be deployed, right? Why are they doing this? Well, nobody really knows. It's never explained in the mod, so just roll with it, I guess. Also, yes, Christmas music just starts randomly playing during this section. Not just regular Christmas music, but copyrighted Christmas music, so I had to replace it with a royalty-free Christmas song instead, not tempting the YouTube copyright gods this time. The mod pretty much asks us to escape the facility at this point because, well, it's safe to say that the Christmas festivities have been postponed indefinitely. After a brutal fight in the lobby, you make your way to another part of the facility through a vent system where you have to fight even more soldiers and turn on the power. After which you can activate this big door and make your way outdoors. And guess what's waiting for you there? That's right, even more soldiers and a bunch of turrets. I swear, the difficulty of this mod can be a bit brutal at times. I definitely died a few times because of the sheer amount of enemies the mod puts in your way. Health was also hard to find at first, but I learned that you can break the Christmas presents and find candy inside of them that can help you heal up. Oh, and the sound it makes when you pick up these pieces of candy is amazing. It's literally just someone stuffing a piece of candy in their mouth and chewing it for a bit. Oh, 
Oh, I love stuff like that. Although the mod being a tad challenging, the gameplay isn't actually that bad. Although I would say as well that it fails to really bring anything new to the table. There aren't really any puzzles, and most fights are resolved by you just standing partially behind a wall and shooting the soldiers that way because you're probably low on health. The environments are pretty nice though, there are lots of custom textures and models being used here to spruce the mod up and make it stand out a little bit from other mods. The detail in some of these areas is great, although others felt a bit barren and could have used maybe a bit more decoration or something. In fact, the Christmas theme kind of fades away the longer you play through this. Areas are just no longer decorated, making you forget that this is a Christmas mod you're supposed to be playing. Also, there is no snow outside at all. I feel like that would have really helped set the mood for mods like these. Now, I'm not really sure where this mod is really supposed to take place, as we're technically not at Black Mesa, but surely we could have gotten rid of realism for a bit and just peppered the parking lot here with some snow, right? So, yeah, while I'd say the mod looks good and plays decently overall, I think it does miss a little bit of that Christmas spirit in the last half of it. Almost like it just changed its mind and wanted to be a regular Half-Life mod instead. So, do I recommend you to play this? Well, yeah, it's free and it only takes up around 20 minutes of your time. And the soldier ambush with the cheery Christmas music playing at the beginning is too priceless of an experience to pass up on. So, yeah, check the link in the description below to get yourself a copy. So, are you going to play Bloody Christmas? Or have you already played it and want to tell me your opinion on it? Well then, leave a comment down below, I always read them. And while you're down there, you should like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Next week, I'll be releasing the final video of the year, which will be about our favorite community projects of 2023. I'm going to get as many Landogen staff members and moderators on board to talk about what they loved playing, witnessing, or participating in this year. So if you find that interesting, then don't forget to check in next Friday. Anyway, that's it for me now. Have a bloody Merry Christmas, everyone! The best day of the year Yes, it is the best day of the year